If you're thinking about signing up for Cloud Connexa and you already have an AWS or Amazon Web Services account and you would like to consolidate your billing, now you have the option of uh, signing up for Cloud Connexa contract using AWS SaaS contract from AWS Marketplace. In order to do so, you need to access the Marketplace through your dashboard. As you can see, I'm on uh, my dashboard right now. I'm going to click on uh, Amazon or AWS uh, Marketplace. And then once on the Marketplace, I'm going to search for Cloud Connexa. And probably the, one of the very first results you're going to get, it's going to be the right option. So click on Cloud Connexa and the first page is Product Overview. When you're ready to sign up, you can just click on the uh, View Purchase Options on the upper right corner of the page. It's going to take you to the uh, next page. This is where you can configure your contract. First of all, if you want to be, um, you want to run this contract for a month or you want to do it annually, uh, you can choose either options. Then you want to choose your auto renewal options. If you want to automatically uh, renew the contract renewed at the end of your uh, contract or you want to do it manually. Then if you scroll down, uh, this is where you can choose the number of connections you need. Once you choose the number of a connection and how long your contract to run, then you can see the total price um, and the number of connections that you chose. Now, if uh, for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to choose the three connection plan, which is free. So once I select that, as you can see, my dollar amount is zero. If you need to have a purchase order number for your bookkeeping or accounting or any other reason, you can just click on this button and add a purchase order number to your contract as well. Once you're happy, click on create contract. Now, if there is any money due here, you click on pay now and your credit card gets charged for that amount. But since we chose the three free connection, it's free. I'm just going to click on pay now. And I should get the confirmation. Here we go. I get the confirmation on uh, my uh, contract is up and running. Now, uh, click on uh, set up your account to start uh, setting up your Cloud Connects account. This is basically going to get you in the onboarding flow of uh, Cloud Connects. So click on start now, and then you can create uh, your account. Uh, you need to enter your work email address here. I'm going to just type my email here. Oops, let me uh, get that here. And then uh, you're going to choose a, a good password as well. Uh, once you're happy with the password, let me type this here. And then the next section, if you look, you would like to receive exclusive contents, you check that box and then click on create account. Now we need to confirm your email address. So you're going to get a six digit code email to you. You need to get that code. Let me go to my email account here and I get that code 598407. Going back to the page to type this number here. Uh, 598407 uh, and click on confirm. So we confirmed our email address. The next step is uh, entering um, identity information. So I'm going to fast forward through this part and then come back when it's done. Okay, we're done with entering information here. I'm going to click on confirm. And our uh, next step is creating our WPC or Cloud ID. So let me go ahead and type my Cloud ID here. One thing I want to um, add here that once you create your WPC uh, or your Cloud ID, it cannot be changed. Uh, so you may want to pay attention to that. I'm going to click on Confirm. And oh, I think I already, I'm already using another domain. Let me, um, I'm just going to add a two here to get it uh, up and running here. Click on Confirm. So once you do this, uh, you're going to land on the admin portal or admin user interface of your Cloud Connect. So the first screen you're going to see is documentation, quick start. We have other videos that it shows you how to configure your Cloud Connect. So, but this is a good starting point going through the uh, each step. You're going to have step-by-step -step instructions on how to configure. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to con concentrate on the subscriptions through the AWS. In order to upgrade your subscription, if you need to do that, there are multiple ways of doing it. The first one is just click on upgrade your plan. 
This is going to take you again back to the AWS Marketplace for Cloud Connect. So as you can see, it tells me I already have a contract. So if I want to modify my current contract, I just I'm going to choose the number of connections that I want to upgrade to. And then I can see the total amount that it's due based on my contract. And then I can click on Modify Contract. Let's go back to the admin portal. I want to show you another way of doing this. Uh, oops, let me go back. Another way of upgrading your subscription, if for any reason you don't see that button, you can just click on this drop down and then go to My Subscriptions. This is where you can see how many subscriptions you have, and then you can click on View AWS Subscription. Since you signed up through AWS, you have to go through the AWS Marketplace again. Um, again, it's going to throw us in the same page that we saw a minute ago. We can go ahead and choose uh, the number of connections that we want to upgrade to. And once we're happy with that, we can go ahead and uh, click on uh, Modify the Contract, um, as you can see here, Modify Current Contract. Um, again, I'm going to go back to the admin portal. There is one more way of upgrading your current uh, uh, subscription is by going to a status page and clicking on Add More under Capacity. Again, it's going to put you back in the um, AWS Marketplace under this existing contract, and you can modify the current contract here. So going back to the portal, these are the uh, multiple ways of uh, upgrading your contract um, or updating your current contract through the AWS if you sign up through AWS. One thing I need to add here, at any time, if you decide to uh, cancel your uh, contract, you need to email our support or our sales, which you can find the email address off of our website. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you, and we'll see you on the next video.